Hello friends and welcome in this video we're going to build a little interface that has a progress bar, a couple labels and a rich text box. And we will use a for loop to fill the bar so that means fill it from left to right with a color in that direction. And it will also put entries like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 in the rich text box at the same time. So progress bars are usually used to indicate how much of a job of some kind has been completed. For example when you're copying labels between two drives files rather between two drives you might see a progress bar that shows you for example 30 percent 40 percent 50 percent and so on oh yeah so crank up a form and over here type prog let's drag in a progress bar make it nice and big all right make it big easy to see all right put a couple labels under the bar so put in a label right there, properties on a label, and let's set the text font. Let me move this over. All right, let's change that to 40 point. All right, change that so from label one so that it says, for example, fill. So when you click it, it will fill our bar in our rich text box. And then copy it. And paste another copy. And then this is the one that will be used to reset the bar down, back down to zero and clear the box. So the second label selected, change the text on it to reset. So its purpose is clear. And then into that space, let's get a rich text box. The icon for it is that thing right there and it says rich text box. Right, align it somewhat so it looks somewhat decent. There you go, same thing with that. There you go, so this is our basic interface. Make sure with the box selected you change the text size to 40. So this is our simple interface, let's give this a go. So click start. And as you can see, it looks pretty decent, but it's not functional. When you write in the box, the font is nice and big, easy to read. Okay, so now you're going to left to double click the fill button. And, but before we do that, select the bar here, the progress bar, and look at some of its properties. Specifically, focus on the behavior ones. In the behavior category, you see there's a maximum of 100. There's a minimum value of zero, and there's a step size that tells you how much it goes every time it fills a little more. I'll change that to one, like that. So we have a maximum value, a minimum value, and a step size of one. So the minimum is essentially on the left, the maximum on the right of the bar, and the steps tells you, you know, every time you run a little bit, this is how much you should go, one, 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 one. So you're stepping by ones. All right, so go into the fill code. So that is this one right here. Let's add that code now. So we're going to type four, and that is a keyword is blue, and then we'll say INTI, and then we'll say progress bar one dot minimum. So we are typing this here because we have a variable like I, and the variable is there because we need something that we can change its value so the loop can operate a certain number of times just as in the case of the while loop the only difference is there the variable was outside here the variable is inside so INTI equals progress bar one dot minimum so essentially in our case that means zero that is the initial value of I and then I less than say or equal to and then you will say progress bar one dot maximum like that and the maximum value on the bar is 100. So in other words, run the loop while i is less than or equal to 100. And it will make the values of i increase by 1, so i++. plus plus. Let's add comments. So remember, i is a variable. So its values will change from, one, from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, two to three and so on all the way to 100 because that is so remember these values go up by one every single time so begin 
with i being zero, in other words, i equals progress bar one dot minimum, and then the next step is the logical condition. When we did the while loop, we had a logical condition, same principle holds here. As a side note, with both the while loop and this one, the following is true. If the condition fails as it can for a variety of reasons, there's no guarantee that either the while loop or this one will run even one time because the conditions are checked before the actual code executes. If the condition fails the first time, the code may never run. Keep that in mind. So here we are going to say now i, like that, is not equal to progress bar one dot maximum ensures we i all the way to 100 essentially and lastly i plus plus is present to grow the value of i by one on each cycle of the loop those are the preliminary observations and the motivations for each step next stage here we're going to perform two actions so the action is fill the bar and fill the rich text box so to do that, we will say progress bar one dot and then perform step. That's it. So progress bar one is our object dot. That is member access. And then you can select properties or behaviors or methods. So in our case, the method is perform step. And this has the action of filling the bar. That's it. From left to right. All right, one last thing, fill the rich text box. So we'll say rich text box one the text and as before plus equals to accumulate dollar symbol for string interpolation, double quotes, and then stick in the value of i. That is all that we are doing here. So this will be filled at runtime with the actual value of i. And put the slash n to make a new line so the stuff is stacked vertically inside the box. So fills box with the values of i as loop operates. All right, that is it. So click start and then hit fill. You see? There you go. So the bar is filled and the rich text box is also filled. Working as expected. Excellent. Now let's add the logic for the reset button. That means reset the bar back to zero, get rid of the green, and then clear the text from the box. That's what it means to reset here. So left double click the reset label. And let's add that code, that will go right there. So we'll say rich text box one dot text and set that equal to double quotes, put nothing between them, not even a space, terminate with a semicolon. So this clears the text from the rich text box in other words it's the purpose and to reset the progress bar to zero type progress bar one dot value and set that equal to zero so this is the statement here and let's actually describe that so we will say clears progress bar back to zero so it's not green anymore so this is all our code let's run this to confirm everything is working as expected so fill very good and then reset very good okay friends so you've seen the user interface and this is our code thank you so much for watching i'll see you in another video